hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will explain you how we can use record choice set in a salesforce screen flow so in salesforce the record choice set is nothing but a collection or set of records that can be used as option within a picklist field or an object so in this example we will create a screen flow to create an opportunity record and in that screen flow we will create a record choice set for the opportunity accounts field so let's move ahead and see the process and before this i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content and then we will continue to the topic so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early birds so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this course you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our so right now i have logged into my salesforce developer console and, and from here i will navigate to the flow window for that go to the quick find box and search and select flow under the heading process automation here select the flows and in this window click on the button new flow here select the option screen flow and click on the button create so we will configure the screen flow so in this example we are going to create an opportunity record with the help of screen flows so first we will add a screen to the flow so first we have to enter the label and the api name of the screen so we are creating the opportunity record from this screen flow so here i am writing the label as opportunity details and the api name will be autofilled according to the entered label so now we will add four fields that are required to create an opportunity records and those fields are opportunity name close date stage name and one field that we are going to add is accounts that will be our record choice set so for the name field i will add a text component to the screen and then enter the label and api name for the text component so in this text field the user will enter the opportunity name so i have labeled it as opportunity name and here we can make this field require also and the next component is going to be a date component that is for the close date so from here i will drag and drop the date component to the screen and i will label it as a close date and we can make this field as a require also and the next field we are going to add is a stage that is going to be a pick list field so for that we will drag and drop the pick list component to the screen and i have labeled this component as a stage name so this is going to be a pick list field and for that we have to create a new resource so for that go to the choice field and here click on new choice resource and here select the resource type as a pick list choice set and in the api name i will enter the api name as opportunity stage and in the object we have to select the opportunity objects because we are creating this record for the opportunities and in the data we have to select the pick list and field as stage name and at last click on the done button to save this resource so now we have created the three fields opportunity name close date and the stage name now we are going to create the record choice set field that is the accounts name so for this record choice set also we have to add the pick list component to the screen and and this time i am going to name this pick list component as account name and then again we will go to the choice field and here click on the button and then again we will go to the choice field and here click on new choice resource so this time we have to select the resource type as a record choice set and api name will be the account name and the api name will be the opportunity account and the object we will select is going to be the account because it will display the records of the account object so we will select the object as account and then in the condition requirements i have set and for every record choice we have to set a condition so in this record choice set i will display only the accounts that are having the active status so for that i have selected field as active operator will be equals and the value is going to be true and the value is going to be yes or true and after this we will scroll down to the region configure each choice so 
choice label i am going to give here is name that is account name and the data type is going to be the text only and choice value will be the id that is the account id so at last click on the done to save this record choice set resource so now our screen is completed and we will add a create record element to the flow that will create a record from the information that it will fetch from the screen element so here we will add a create record element and here we will enter the label and the api name and how to set records field we have to select the option use separate records and lateral values and here select the object opportunity so now we have to map the opportunity fields from their values that we have used in the screen element so the account id text field will be mapped with the account name close date will be mapped with the close date only and next is name and this name is the name of the opportunity record so here it will be mapped with opportunity name and the last one is a stage name and the stage name will be mapped with a stage name so here we map the field with their respective values so as of now our flow is completed now we will save it so after entering the flow label and flow api name click on the save button so as of now our screen flow is completed and here i will show you how you can test and debug it and for debugging the flow we have to click on the debug button that is at the top of the flow builder and in the debug flow window we have to click on the run button and here you can see we have to enter the details in the screen element and here in this step we have to enter the required field so first is the opportunity name and the close date we will select here in the stage name as you can see that stage name is being displayed as a pick list because this is how we have configured it in the screen flow and the account name you can see it will display as a record choice set so according to the condition defined in the record choice set here we will see only those account that are having active status as a true click on the next button to create the record and here we can see that flow ran successfully so and so in this way we can create a screen flow to create opportunity records and use the record choice element in that screen flow and at last and at last to use this flow in your console you have to activate it and then only you will be able to use it so this was all about using the record choice set in a salesforce flow and i hope that you like this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye